morning guys, JJ here and I've got an absolute cracker of a day lined up for you. Today I've been invited out by Sydney's Taronga Zoo to basically just run a mark, show you around the place, share with you some of their amazing animals and also the incredible work they're doing with wildlife right here in Australia and all across the world. The gates are just open so let's get stuck into it. Now I've got some really fond memories of Taronga because it's one of the first zoos I ever came to as a kid and I've been coming pretty consistently since then. And it's been really cool, especially from a zookeeper's perspective to see how they have evolved over time. And they are one of the most famous zoos here in Australia and probably anywhere in the world for a pretty good reason. They don't call it the zoo with a view for nothing. Now the first stop today is something that I haven't seen before. Taronga's just unveiled their new African savannah precinct, which is home to five iconic African species, zebra, giraffe, meerkats, fennec foxes, and of course, African lions. And I think these guys have done a really good job of creating that Africa vibe so that you feel like you're walking through the savannah or on a bit of a safari or you're in a rural village somewhere in Kenya, a country where a lot of these species are found. They haven't had lions here at Taronga for several years while they've been building up this new precinct, so it's really good to see them back, and a lot of people don't realise quite how rare they are. Their numbers have dropped rapidly in recent years with an estimated number of only 20 to 30,000 individuals left in the wild, which when you really think about it, isn't very many. As such, these guys here are such important ambassadors for their wild counterparts. As well as a lot of information about the animals, there's also a lot of information about the people, the communities that coexist with these animals over in Africa. And Taronga is actually working with these communities to try and reduce the conflict between people and wildlife, specifically the predatory species like lions, so they can all coexist and create a better situation for all parties involved. How good are meerkats, man? I could honestly watch those guys all day. Now, one of the most iconic demonstrations here at Taronga has got to be the free flight bird show. Not only do you get to see an amazing array of different bird species, you also have that epic view over Sydney Harbour. So those birds can be pretty hard to film, but such a good show with an epic backdrop. And now I reckon it's time to go find some other favorites. Now the Tiger Trek's another really interactive exhibit, which unfortunately the first part of it's closed due to social distancing and all the rest. But you start on a plane and essentially fly over the Indonesian jungle. You can see uh, all the palm oil plantations that have taken out the habitat of the tigers. Then you enter through an Indonesian village where the rangers are set up protecting the tigers before you finally get to the end where you see the amazing animals themselves. Sumatran tigers are a critically endangered species. There's thought to be less than 400 left out in the wild. And when I was here at Taronga about a year ago, I think it was, they just had three amazingly, gorgeously, beautiful, stripy little cubs. And they've grown up quite significantly. So 
So the last part's a bit of a display about palm oil and the impact that's having on tigers and other wildlife throughout Indonesia. And palm oil, as you can see, it's in quite a wide variety of products. So essentially what they're trying to encourage people to do is make sustainable and informed choices uh, about what products they use to try and minimize that palm oil usage where they can. Of course, you can't come to an Aussie zoo and not say good day to the natives. You ever feel like you're being watched? Now, Australia is home to some pretty iconic species. Of course, everyone knows kangaroos, koalas, wombats. There's also a lot of lesser known species that are doing it quite tough out in the wild. Some that a lot of people have never even heard of. And Taronga is actually supporting a lot of those species with their captive breeding programs. With species like the corroboree frog, this tiny little black and gold frog that's found in the subalpine regions of New South Wales and the ACT. Regent honey eaters, which are also black and gold and one of Australia's rarest bird species. And another critically important breeding program going on here at Taronga is that of the Bellinger River turtle. A few years back, it was discovered that a novel virus had hit these turtles hard in their home range, reducing the numbers of the population greatly. They were in rapid decline and facing extinction. But Taronga and the New South Wales government stepped in as part of the Saving Our Species program to collect the few remaining healthy individuals and establish an insurance population with the aim of breeding lots of baby turtles and releasing these guys back into the wild. So now I've just come into one of Taronga's immersive classrooms. And this one here is desert themed. So there's some bilbies running around. There's a couple of different bird species, some budgies and finches. And these are a really cool way to get kids, school groups in here to learn about these animals and the environments that they live in. And these bilbies in particular are a species that a lot of people don't know about. And we really need to learn more about them because they are threatened. And unfortunately in the wild, they are facing a lot of trouble, mainly due to predation by feral cats and foxes. So Taronga is part of a breeding program, which is trying to build boost the number of these guys so they can be released into protected sanctuaries and we don't see them disappear. So that about does it for my time at Taronga guys. Honestly, time flies when you're having fun because it's only about 10 minutes till the gates shut. Literally spent a full day here. Hope you guys have enjoyed seeing some really cool animals and also seeing some of the behind the scenes work these guys are doing, which is so important. Thanks heaps to Taronga for inviting me out here again. And if you've enjoyed the video guys, be sure to subscribe. You know what to do. There's heaps more stuff like this coming up so you don't want to miss it. Thanks for letting me ramble on and I'll see you in the next one.